Today is the 1st of July 2022. It's a public holiday here in Hong Kong. It's uh, quite warm and a little bit rainy, but it's a special day because 25 years ago, Hong Kong was handed over to the People's Republic of China. And in front of me, I have got the limited Hong Kong edition of Monopoly from 1997. It is the commemorative edition. And that's rather exciting. I'm going to show this to you today. First impressions is that this is a big box. I mean, Monopoly now comes in a box about that size because the, the board folds in two places. We can see the old and new flags. This is the uh, British flag and the old Hong Kong flag. This is the flag of the People's Republic of China. And this is the current Hong Kong flag. Also, you can see these flags um, in sort of, I don't know how to describe it, but they're sort of, they, they just about, if you look at certain angles, they just about show up in the gold parts of the box. So let's open this up. We've got Mr. Monopoly, is that his name? I don't know. I think I was really lucky to get this game because it's in really, really good condition. So here is the board. Uh, we'll come onto the board in a minute. So here we are. Wow. We've got the rule books in both English and Chinese. Dear players, congratulations on your smart move in investing in this, our commemorative and historic 1997 handover edition of Hasbro's Monopoly game. As a special limited bilingual edition marking Hong Kong's return to mainland China, it is sure to become a treasured possession and a true classic collectible. I absolutely agree. So there it is. Um, and it's basically got the rules. Now, some of these pieces are really, really nice. These are the houses. They are lovely. Um, they're made out of wood. They're absolutely beautiful. The color is lovely. As far as I know, the houses are now um, made out of plastic, which is a bit of a shame. I believe that I've got all of them. And here are the hotels. Again, they feel a little bit more like hotels because they are big and chunky. Uh, we've got the two dice. These seem to... It's almost like a marble effect or whether they're just really old and the paint is starting to degrade. These, are, these dice are 25 years old, remember? Uh, anyway, I think they're pretty cool. Um, and then we've got the Monopoly pieces. So we've got um, Mr. Monopoly, Monopoly Man, I think. We've got the tram, which is fantastic. It's only a single deck of tram. I don't know if that was ever in Hong Kong. The cup. This is the boot. I always quite like playing this one. It's a very old fashioned uh, boot. This is the candlestick, I think, I guess. The bathtub, uh, the race car. That was my other favorite when I was young. And the elephant. Don't remember there being an elephant in Monopoly. I think these are all metal. Okay, there are pictures on it. So there's a sampan on, on the $10 note and it's got the, the four flags in the different corners the fifty dollars which has got the peak tram on it a hundred dollars which matches the the color i think i wonder whether they're all supposed to match but if so then the the ten dollars and the fifty have swapped because ten dollars are now purple and fifties are, are green but i think ten used to be green or maybe i don't know it's a very educational video boys and girls two hundred dollars has got the Star Ferry 500, which again matches the color. We have got the Big Buddha at uh, Ong Peng. And $1,000 has got the HSBC building, I think. I think that's HSBC. Oh, there's Bank of, the Bank of China building on the $5,000 note. So these are the, these are the bank notes. So these ones have been played with. So these are a little bit sort of scuffed up. But what makes this really pleasing to me as a bit of a board game collector. When I bought this game, it also has a completely unused, unpeeled, uh, original pad of money. So this is all sealed at one side, like a book, and it's never been touched, never been played with. In editions of Monopoly now, um, the cards are bilingual, as most things are in Hong Kong and they will have both languages on the same card. This one 
This is the Chinese set, and I think this one, which has never been taken out yet, is the English set. You can see the waterworks on the back there. I've just found the sticker, which I believe goes on this thing, and that has not been used either, which is also very pleasing to me. I'm not quite sure what this is. Is that supposed to spin? Or is this just where you put the cards? Card carousel. Yeah, so I think the cards fit in here. Okay, that's kind of nice. Let's have a look at the board. Ta -da! This is in beautiful condition. Don't know if there's much to say about it. Let's go around. So we've got um, Chen Chao and Toon Moon. Uh, income tax, Kowloon Tong Station. Uh, which is very nice. So at, at this time, this Kowloon Tong Station was part of the um, of the KCR, the Kowloon Canton Railway. Chun Wan, uh, Mong Kok, written as one word. That's changed now. Granville Road, um, Stanley Jail, which is very pleasing. Uh, up here we've got Nathan Road, Hong Kong Electric. Ma on Shan and Sha Tin. Which is kind of odd because they're all quite far apart from each other. Not sure the logic for that. Uh, Causeway Bay Station. And uh, then we've got Wan Chai. Makes sense. DB seems to have already been uh, created at, at, at this time. Uh, Sai Kong, free parking. Village Road. Not sure where that is. Uh, Chance, Wong Nai Chong uh, Road, which is up near sort of around Happy Valley. Blue Pool Road, uh, same thing on Hong Kong Island. Uh, we've got Central Station, Connaught Road Central, Queens Road Central, and Devo Road Central, which are all in, guess what, Central. This one, a nice little change here. Go to Stanley Jail, because normally it just says go to jail. Uh, we've got Robinson Road. Magazine Gap Road and Repulse Bay, then South Bay and the Peak there as well. This is Chim Sa Choi Station, again, all written as one word. Um, these days, that's kind of separated out a little bit. That is the 1997 commemorative limited edition Monopoly Hong Kong edition uh, from 1997. Uh, this is an original one. You can kind of tell from... <laughs> from the state of the box on the inside. This has been through 25 Hong Kong summers. Uh, so that explains that. It is nice to keep a little bit of history um, in some way, if you can. And the way that I like to do that is with games. So there we are. Happy anniversary, Hong Kong.